Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in the crust. I'm playing the early demo. Let's get back into it. I'm going to unpause the game. Let's see where we're at. We need to build our regolith factory. That's going to be down below. Let's go check, see what's going on here. Let's unpause. Keep things moving. All right. We have our factory and we are, oh, where the belt's done. Not yet. Almost. We have two more little segments of research to complete. And then we'll have conveyor belts. And then hopefully we can hook this up to the conveyor belt. Uh, link these th two things together. I believe this is working on the regolith. Does it work? Simple regolith refinery. Status produces. Repairs with the steel. It's taking electricity. Production. Choose production scheme. Let's see. Smelting furnace and bulk resource storage we need to choose a production scheme. Now they had us look for iron, right? So let's do iron oxide. So we're just gonna take regolith and give us a bit of slag that hopefully we can process into maybe bricks or something. And then we're gonna get iron oxide out of this as well. And then I don't know what happens to the other resources like this aluminum and titanium. We'll have to see how that plays out. Let's build the smelting furnace and see where that's at. Buildings, production, smelting furnace. Now in theory, we'll be able to keep on belting. So I'm gonna chain these together if I can. Or kind of keep them close together, assuming they're gonna belt together. There's that. And then what's the last one? The bulk resource storage. That is here. Bulk of resource storage. Oh, I have no idea where this should be. I wonder if this is like, kind of like the loose storage in Captain of Industry. Yeah, I do not know if I should be storing off regolith. I didn't leave enough room between all these buildings. Let's just uh, plunk it down somewhere. How about up here? You can't build here. Uh, how about right there? Then we could run a belt into this and back out if we wanted to maybe all right i wanted to get the rover on the surface of the planet of uh, the moon to make some do some exploration so let's go up top and let's scan actually with this guy see what we get in fact i think i want to do the actual the resource scan There it goes. It's going to slowly start detecting where there might be minerals and things. And if we look at this part that was already scanned earlier and I click on these resources over at the bottom right, we can see some shading, right? So I think it's kind of showing us where these resources may be. Now we'll have to Research. discover how to mine them off of the surface or how to get over there. Now our base is right there. We can see, and I'm not sure what these are. There's no pop-ups, so I can't tell. That looks like this is iron here. But we'll let uh, this guy do its scanning. I think this is the... The rover generates the points that we need for research. So we'll let that run. Uh, we're at single speed. Let's go back down to the underground. We're going to need power. We know that, right? So let's uh, run power poles. Oops, misclick there. Boom. U. To you. And then you over you. So that'll be powered up. And I wonder if we should put an extractor over here too. Just a little nervous about running ahead of the demo. Okay, not bad for a rookie. However, any production line can be optimized and improved. For that, you have conveyor belts and a few more tools at your disposal. Conveyors allow you to move a resource between warehouses and production modules without the use of drones. They can also connect several types of resources, branch the flow, and much more. Tell me more about these conveyor belts. I know little about conveyor belts. No, I love conveyor belts. Boom. Okay, choose production mode. We did it. Uh, not for the smelting we didn't, I see. Smelting furnace. I'm guessing we're doing steel, right? Okay, connect the ore extractor to the regolith with a conveyor. Ore extractor to regolith. 
ore extractor to the regolith with a conveyor. Hmm. This may need to be set to store regolith. So here's our bulk resource storage. So let's have our drones or robots bring in, load this up with regolith. And then I think they want us to, oh, or did they want the output of this guy is producing regolith? Okay, the ore extractor to regolith. Storages are full, production can't be continued. I feel like we should just be shoving it in here, but maybe they want us to go into storage and then over, right? This guy's kicking out regolith. I think that's what they want. Let's try it. Let's try a conveyor off of this guy. Yeah, I probably didn't leave enough room um, to pull this off. Let's try it. Okay, there's obviously some conveyor tools I'm not using. All right, conveyor mode, install, cancel, build a line segment, rotate, change direction. Let's see. Can I select you and change direction? UV. Okay, that's not doing anything. Select this conveyor. Rotate R, nothing. Okay, maybe it's already done. Install, cancel. Remove. Let's remove this conveyor. Let's try it again. Yeah, we need to learn this one for sure. Okay, conveyor one, build a line segment. Alt, alt, and left mouse button. Let's try that. Conveyor one selected. Okay, that was me doing alt and the right mouse button, or uh, from alt and the primary mouse button. That didn't do anything. Rotate. Can't really see anything here. Hmm. Conveyor underground distributor. Okay. Okay, that worked. Shift, maybe. Alt. Alt. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, we got a little segment coming out. <laughs> a little segment. <laughs> we may need to move this. We have these buildings pretty close together, and I usually don't do that. Okay, there's got to be a technique here. Alt. I'm getting nothing. Okay, conveyor selected. Clicking dragon. Okay, that's kind of worked. Not quite sure. All right, alt again. You to you to you, 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 something like that. It's uh keep playing with this. I'm going to delete this conveyor if I can. Looks like there's two sections here. Dismantle conveyor. Got a little piece of floating ore there. Okay, alt. Hold it down. Just not getting anything here. Not getting anything. Hmm. 
can't seem to get another conveyor built. Trying to click and drag a path. Let's try Alt again. Control. Nope. Shift. Nope. Plunk one there. Okay, that seemed to go. Plunk one here. I'm just doing basic clicks right now. I guess we need to take this one up. Uh, dismantle conveyor. You can go. I want to kind of loop into this guy, into storage here. It looks like those ports will take in or push out. Okay, I want to come around. Will you do that? Sure seems like if I do the alt, it would do a line. Let's try from here. No. Okay, I'm trying. I don't know if I'm missing materials. Okay, not enough resource to start production. Storages are full. Oh, man. Can't tell if I have that selected. I believe I do. Okay, that's me clicking and dragging. I have no idea. Cancel. Cancel all. That was a mistake. Rotate here now, R. Nope. The don't need to change direction. Okay, I'm gonna try and delete this. I'm gonna wrestle with this system for a bit. Okay, okay. Cancel. Dismantle those. Triggering some functionality that looks interesting. I just don't know how to do it. Did not mean to do that again. You, you, you. How do I get you to connect up? Oh, there we go. Power pole is going to have to move. It's in a horrible spot. Okay, let's get out of this. Go to module dismantle. Let's take down this power. Just because I'm I'm in so tight with what I'm trying to do, that's a mis kind of a mistake or a bad spot for that. We'll see if I can get the belt to weave its way in there. Let me take a little bit of finesse. Looks like that guy, my little drone, robot guy. Okay, good. Mission complete. Okay, nice. We did it. We got it belted in. I still have to learn. I'm kind of, yeah, still definitely have to learn. It looked like we have to place in an empty spot and then click and drag to direct it, but I'm still getting used to it. Okay, by default, modules connected to a conveyor belt are no longer serviced by robots. Okay, very much like Captain of Industry. However, you can manually control how robots interact with specific production or storage modules. For each module, you can forbid and allow bringing resources and taking them away. Just select the module and click on the setup logistics in the interface. The conveyor belt automatically disables the incoming and or outgoing storage in the module it's connected to. Okay, fine. Okay, we need to restore power. Let's do that if we can. Back. Okay, we can dismiss this guy. Back to power, power pull. How about here? It looks like it'll take, and then we can still wire up even before it's constructed. That one to there, that one to there, and then I think we had this guy wired up way over there. So we'll get all that built, and then we'll be storing regolith in this storage, and then I'm guessing this is always going to be processing regolith, so I'm guessing we need a belt into here, and this becomes just like a buffer. Let's try it while other things are being constructed. I'm going to try my hand at these conveyors again. It uh, takes some getting used to. I think I need to start that belt from the machine, actually. So I'm going to take this one up. I'm sure I'm doing this about as clumsy as you can. 
So I'm going to start from the machine. Click, hold, drag, let up, nothing. Oh. Check that out. So we clicked, and then I held, and it let me draw a path, and then I constructed it. Okay. So it's going to be super easy once I get used to it. That's for sure. That was super fast, actually, to build a belt. Just need to wait for those to be constructed. It says you can branch and connect conveyor lines at the intersections. You create distributors where you can configure resource sorting rules. Okay, very cool. So maybe we'll split a conveyor at some point. This area is pretty darn tight. So we can probably just use the storage as a splitter for our current needs. And then at some point we need to raise cash. Is this cash? It says robots. I guess that's our like our credits. I'm guessing. That looks kind of like a money symbol there. All right. You create distributors where you can configure. Okay, fine. Good. Initial production is established. Time to try completing a contract or two. I'd like to see these belts built. Uh, do I have to do build all or something on here? Build all. Boom. My bad. I missed the obvious notification there. Those get built pretty instantaneously. We don't need to wait on drones to do it. Okay, that spun up. The extractor is now moving again. Its inventory is obviously being drained. And hopefully, we'll see some little regular balls <laughs> or mounds coming into here. And then, uh, okay. Try completing a contractor two. Let's start by building the landing platform. All right. Let's clear some of these notifications here in the top left. Okay, research is completed. Let's pick something new. Calling drone. Oh, work in prog progress. This may not be ready yet. Smelting. Let's see. Unlocks the hauler drones. Configuration designed to carry heavy cargo or haul the regolith from the ground. So this, I think, is converting our existing drones into a hauling one. Smelting and processing unlocks the smelting process. I think we already have this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the research queue. And then we'll do the refinery upgrade and get that queued up in research. Underground conveyor belts. Let's just queue up those two researches. Up out of here. Boom. What else? Storages are full. Production can't be continued. Oh. Uh, it looks like there's room, but maybe there's only certain things they can store. We could set up another storage bay. Let's do that. That was a general storage. Let's do another one right here. I don't think... Are we belting out of that guy ever? What is this guy? The pressing module. I don't see output ports on that. We'll leave a little bit of room down a, another one of these storages, maybe right there. Okay, that should take care of that. Okay, not enough resources to start production. That's just uh, this guy. That might be no longer true. It looks like he just did something. Oh, check it out. There's our steel bars. I like it. Resource list. Let's get rid of this. Uh, steel bars, 33. I'm just curious if this number goes up as they store them. Doesn't look like it. Oh, they're building. They're using them to build, maybe? Okay, let's start by building the landing platform. I'm guessing that is on the surface. And let's look at projects. Mining, production, logistics, capsule landing platform. That might be it. What else do we have? Anything? Creation, life support. Yeah, eventually we need to bring humans down or up to the moon, I should say. I'm guessing it's that landing platform. I'm just going to check, make sure there's nothing else obvious here. Regolith factory, we have a bunch of production buildings left to unlock. I'm not sure if they're all in the demo or not. Okay, let's do it. 
capsule landing platform. I think this allows us to, well, let's read it. Allows you to load and unload cargo to resource capsule. Enables the contracts and sales of resources on the early stage. Okay, good. Maybe we can sell some bricks. We seem to have a lot of those. How about, boom, right there. We'll get that built. Okay, we'll go double speed while that is built. Get out of the building menu. Let's go to the satellite menu. Here's our little guy. Let's move this one. You move. You can see there's some resource there. More resource here. That's the iron, I believe, over here. Kind of cool. Not sure what that one is. We could find out. Okay, so our rover is scanning the surface a little bit. On the surface of the moon here at our base, we're building a landing platform. Looks like it just got completed. Okay, complete the training contract. Okay, we have issued your first contract. Go to the contracts interface and see for yourself. Sure. Boom. Where is that? Okay, here. Oh, check it out. We have a whole bunch of tabs here to check out. Training contract. Looks like we're going to get 30,000 credits. And we need to supply. I'm guessing this is telling us we need to supply, yeah, 50 bricks and 50 iron ingots or steel ingots. We're making those now. Let's check our logistics networks. Deliver the specified resources to us for testing purposes. Okay. Requirements. We need a certain reputation value. I don't know where that is shown. Probably on the top of the HUD. Okay, send resources. So we'll kind of accept that contract. Standard cargo pod, capacity up to 5,000. Shipping cost 1,000 credits. Oh, man. Okay, hopefully they're loading this up now. Uh, any other tabs? Colonist tabs has nothing. Logistics tab... I guess shows us the same thing here. Pods waiting to be sent, maybe? No destination selected. We'll come back to that. Contracts. Okay. We have a typo here. We have Russian. Restoring supplies. Need for concrete. So these are different contracts I think that we can take on. And expeditions are something else. Delivery fee, a thousand. Standard cargo pod, transportation module. If I click this, that's fine. Faster cargo pod, smaller capacity, but a higher shipping cost. We'll do the standard. And then do I need to do anything here? ETA 14 something. Delivery cost, little typo there. Okay, add 10 resources, add 100 resources. Let's see, what is that about? Logistics. Add 100 res add 10 resources. Hmm. Where might we find that? I'm looking at the bottom of the screen here. We have add 100, add 10. Let's see what they're telling us. Complete the training contract. Guessing we need to deliver resources here. Okay, waiting a new route. That is online, on, off. Logistics configuration, nothing to do there. Oh, while well, they're telling us here, go back into this one. This is the Global Logistics Center. Here you will trade, fulfill contracts, hire staff, and interact with other factions. Now go to the Contracts tab, okay. Contracts interface divided into three categories. Available, active, and completed. The left window contains a list of the contracts, and the right gives detailed information about the highlighted contract. Click on the active tab and highlight the training contract. Okay. On the right-hand side, contains information about the contract, rewards, penalties, execution time, and so on. That's all this stuff. 300 if we don't do it, I guess. We pay 300 credits. Send resources. Now there's a button here. Boom. 
Okay, you are in the cargo pod configuration interface. Okay, here's where we were before. The top panel allows you to select where the resources are going to. Okay, I see. Okay, the left column shows the resources currently available at your base. The center central column shows the resources you'll be sending out. And on the right is all the information about the planned flight and the resources required for the dispatch. Select the landing location and load the available resource. This step concludes your training. All that remains is to complete the contract. All right, I think we have to do this. Select our landing module. We only have one. Uh, exists, landing platform. Boom. And then requires that smart concrete deal. I'm guessing is that all we need to do. <laughs> is that what we need to do? Oh man. At 10 resources. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Contracts active. This guy. Zero days requires these two things. Send the resources. Okay, amount 132. Select the landing module. Just don't know if we need to do this. Let's see if I do the control click on one of these. Control click. Nope, it just removes it. That's another control click. Landing module, hmm. Yeah, like I'm missing something. Yeah, I cannot quite figure out how to get those resources. I have a theory that maybe this contract, see how it says zero days is the deadline. It could be that this contract has expired. Let's cancel the contract. Back out of here. And take a look at the contracts again. Contracts. This is probably, uh, maybe this could be it. Uh, nope, this is more stuff. Nation for a better future. Deliver 700 bricks. Let's uh, back out of here. Complete the training contract. <laughs> I think we're in a, a bad spot. Contracts active. Yeah, it's been deleted. Training contract that shows up as completed here now. Don't think there's much I can do about it. So let's do, let's try a new contract. Let's look at our supplies. We have 158 smart concrete, 150 steel. Let's see if there's something in the contract list that we could maybe do. Available steel. This is 400 steel. This is 250. This seems like it's close to what we have in storage and we're producing the steel bars now and then we have a deadline of 100 days so maybe we can do this let's accept this contract and try to go back into this screen and see if we can't make it work okay active let's send the resources select the landing module landing platform and then now can i click these and get them to go over Okay, amount one, two, three, four, and then if I do shift click, we need 200, right? 200. And now can I get 150 of these in? Try, it says landing platform. Let's see if we can do it again. Shift click. Yeah, see something's weird. I can't get the steel and the bricks at the same time for some reason. Scrolling up, scrolling down. Research complete. Steel. Steel. Do we have to do one at a time or something? 
All right, we're sending something. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're delivering, I think, half of the resources they want. Maybe just the steel. Let's look at inventory. Uh, yeah, steel is being taken. Well, 154. Yeah, steel is being taken out of inventory. And placed into the drop pod. We're this on the landing platform here. This is the contract we're kind of working on. It's a little confusing, got to say. Active contract. Okay, this shows that 200 are supplied or at least set up to be supplied. Let's wait till that's filled up. I'm running a triple time speed or triple speed. So we'll wait for our little drones to fill up this landing pod. We can see the status here. We have 76 out of 200. While that's going, let's go underground. Let's do, um, let's maybe mine some silicon or we could belt this. This guy, oh, this guy's kicking out slag and iron oxide. So this may be where we need to do that distributor thing. Regolith. Can we change this production to use slag for bricks instead? I think we need a different machine for that. Let's see what we have available to us. Doesn't look like we have much. Drone reconfiguration, the extractor, and an ore scanner. Single resource type storage. General storage. Okay, the smelting furnace. We have all that. Batteries and power, we're good. Logistics, we don't have anything unlocked. Let's go to the tech tree and see if we can unlock something new. It okay, increases the regolith extraction. Smelting and processing, we have that. Simple regolith refinery upgrade. Okay, up. what about, I thought there was a smart concrete factory. Let's get this queued up in the research. It says smart concrete block making plant, much more productive than the pressing module and uses slag and silicon as raw materials. So I like the looks of that. Get that researched. Let's take a look at the surface. Okay, it looks like part of that contract was delivered. We're not going to ever get out of the tutorial here. We're kind of stuck. I think let's go into contracts. Active this guy. Send resources. And I think we've sent the steel supposedly. Let's select the landing module. This guy landing platform. And then I'm going to control or shift click here. Boom. All right. Again, there's a hundred bricks. There's 150. Send that. It says no destination selected, but here comes our drop pod. And so it looks like we have to send maybe one resource at a time per shuttle, at least in the demo version. Okay, bricks are decreasing. We're sending bricks up to the shuttle. I like it. Okay, research is completed. We're currently researching the smart concrete factory. I think we're back in action here, but we're never going to be able to complete the training contract. And it could just be it took too long to complete that. May have had the clock run in a triple speed before I figured out how to actually send resources up. I have a feeling that's what happened. Okay, logistics, factions, contracts, active. Boom. Okay, it's showing 200 and 200. I think those resources are already going to be sent on their own. Let's take a look. We have 62 out of 150, 63. Let's go back to this view. Click on this guy and get him moving somewhere else. We'll do more scans. If I click these resources, we can see what's been scanned so far. 
Not sure how we mine these yet. But we'll send the rover over this way, then we'll do another scan, get another big circle. And uncover more of the planet, of the, uh, not the planet, <laughs> the moon. It's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Nice. Looks like we're on the dark side or something. Okay, how are we doing on the loading? We're just about there. 25 more bricks, or loads of bricks. And that drop pod should take off. And we'll see what it means to complete a contract. Uh, what are we supposed to get from this one? Contracts, active. 15,000 credits. So we're at 187. So that should take us up to over 200,000 credits. We'll see what happens. There it goes. Mission complete. Nice. Okay, tutorial is completed. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Nice. So all we needed to do, I guess, was complete a contract. The one they had us do for training was, I kind of borked it, it looks like, but now it works. Nice. Okay, in search for reasons. Well done. However, our primary objective is to reach the explosion site and investigate. Before the catastrophe, a system of transmitters boosted our satellite signals and allowed us to control autonomous vehicles across the moon. The blast has damaged it. Now we can only control the rover if it's close to our base. And we've lost contact with most of our facilities on the moon. In order to expand the accessible search area, an expedition center must be built, and we should commence the search ASAP. It requires resources. Okay, and then off here to the left says, Smelting furnace can smelt several types of resources using oxides. To start production, select a specific resource type. Okay, we've done that. Let's click this. That's right, it will take some resources. We've provided you with the high-tech stuff, but it's up to you to manufacture building materials. Produce and stockpile 100 units of steel and 100 units of silicon for construction. We will provide another four drones to speed up production and report back when you're done. Okay, cool. I like it. Cargo pod's ready for landing, so we can pick a spot, and we're going to get four more drones, it sounds like. Contract completed. Okay, we're good here. It's just got added to the completed contracts. And we're at 199.312 for our credits, so it looks like we got paid for that last contract. Okay, now we need to produce 100 steel. That's already underway, and we need to speak in Russian. I think that's the silicon. They said. So let's go to. Um, I don't think this is a contract. These are just objectives for us. Let's go underground here. See what's happening. We can't really belt from the um, regolith refinery into the smelter directly because this guy kicks out two different resources. Right now it's iron and slag. We're going to want to change the resources um, because we need to produce silicon. I don't think we have a lot. I think this is our silicon here. Let's look at the resource list. Yeah, we only have 10, but we saw there was a deposit here. Let's get an, an extractor on this thing. So I'll go into mining uh, extractor. Ooh, I wonder if we could get two on the same deposit. Okay, it's showing us what's efficient, what's not. No, it's not letting me. Looks like there's only a couple spots where we can actually place this. There or there. Let's do it here. Boom, we'll get that built. We're going to need power. Let's grab that. Wires. Click this guy. Drag out a pole. And drag out a pole. Hopefully I won't be in the way of conveyor belts this time. Connect this guy up. I like that you can connect the power ahead of time before it's even constructed. That is nice. We'll let this one keep producing iron. Um, there might be a way to use the distributor to get that regolith, get the um, slag routed one way and get the iron routed into here. But then I think we're gonna have to, let's see. Can we change the recipe? Yeah, we're going to need another smelting furnace to do silicon. 
We'll keep that guy in iron and we'll do another production chain over here. Uh, that should have power. Do you need a recipe? Production status offline. Oh, we have one more power pole. Okay, glad to see that you somehow managed to settle down and set up mining operations and production lines. Anyway, we've helped you get there. Now it's your turn to help us. For a start, send 85 units of smart concrete as a trial shipment. Okay, they're giving us a new contract, it looks like. Smart concrete. Is that what those bricks are called? Yeah. We are behind on our brick production. This guy should be doing it. Regolith. What's the problem? He's not... Oh! We're not getting any more regolith because we're not doing any mining. Let's mine some. That'll get us a bunch of loose regolith where the drones can help us make some brick. And then we want to get this guy going. We're waiting on one power pole to be built, I believe. And it probably needs brick too, yeah. So these guys will mine. Feed the pressing module. That'll get us brick short term. But we want to get these, that factory up that can produce bricks. Um, this smart concrete factory, I think that's what we're researching now. In the tech tree. That will allow us to use the slag coming out of the refinery to make bricks. That's, yeah, we're at 62% of the way through that research. We know we're going to need to smelt whatever comes out of this thing, right? It's going to, oh no, we're going to need to refine it. Let's set up a whole chain here. We need a refiner. And how do we want to belt these? That'd be nice just to lube a belt right around, right? Let's see if that'll... Will that even fit there? Boom. And then if you go to conveyors... See if I can do better this time. You... Okay, let me pick one maybe. Start here, click, drag... Rag. <laughs> I need to learn the technique. It's a one click thing too. I know you can do it with one click. There. Oh, I started to do it. Drag and then in. Okay, click. There we go. Build all. Nice. That went a little better than last time. Still not perfect. Room for improvement. Let's get little power for this guy. I'm going to drop another pull just because we're so limited on connections. I know it's going to cost a brick and maybe some iron or steel. How are we doing on power? Let's go check the batteries while this stuff is being built. We should be getting bricks now. Are we building bricks? We went through all of them. We must be, because that power pole was built. There's our regolith going in. Did we select something here? This just does what it wants. There's no setting production on the extractor. It's just knowing where the deposits are. And I wonder if you could put an extractor just anywhere and get regolith out of it. Just low quality regolith. Let's try it just for the heck of it. Can you put one down here? We'll cancel it. See how it just says, like, no resources except a little bit of aluminum? Let's see if they let me put it down. I doubt it. You can't build you can't build Yeah, I can't build it. Okay. But we can keep our drones mining. That gets us a little bit of regolith just from them chewing away at this rock. And it gives us a place to build. So I guess there's a risk of us having... Our robot's too busy to do other work. And this guy needs repair. Yeah, robot's already doing it. 
We got our little conveyor system here that's doing fine. We don't really need it. We could go straight in. And then we didn't try the distributor yet. Hmm. Very tempted. Let's see. Can we even build that yet? Is it unlocked? It's like conveyor one, conveyor twos. I can do nothing else highlights. What I want to do is run a belt out of here. And well, I guess we'll wait till we get that smart cement factory. How close are we? 72%. Don't see bricks. They might be being used for construction here. But this little plant should get a silicon when we're done. We know we're gonna need we're gonna need a smelting furnace too. Let's see if we can get that placed. Maybe there. I'm going to mark a little bit more area here for mining just to give us more building space. And I should be able to use this regolith that we're chewing up here for bricks or a smart concrete, they call it. A new contract available. They want us to do this one. This says zero days again. We might be in trouble. <laughs> we might be in trouble. Send resources. Uh, shift or select the landing module, that one, and then shift click. Okay, we didn't get anything that time. Right again. I have a feeling. Oh, now it says 85. Send. Okay, the pod's coming down. Let's go up. Hopefully they will start loading this up with bricks. We don't have any in inventory right now. Smart concrete. But hopefully we'll get it soon. How are our batteries doing? Uh, they have a little bit of charge. Might be time to think about more solar panels. Don't know that we have a lot of resource for this yet. We're going to give up bricks and silicon as part of a couple of our objectives, right? Let's build a temporary landing platform. What's that? Okay, buildings. Logistics. Capsule landing platform. Is there a temporary one? I don't even see that here. Pods landing platform. Cargo dock. Expedition Control Center, they talked about that. Vehicle hangar, small vehicle assembly, large vehicle assembly. Ooh, more lifts. Yeah, I'm not sure how much there is in the demo. Three hundred steel. Okay, steel and concrete. These goals look like maybe they're just production goals. Produce 100 steel and produce 100. I believe this is the silicon. Go back down. Oh, is this guy finally taking bricks over? Yeah. So we're delivering bricks for our contract. Go down. Get rid of that. Again, we're a little starved for resources down here. We need bricks. We have components in inventory. It looks like they were already delivered. I'm not sure when or how we get to make those. We still have 15 in inventory. Steel is being produced. Bricks are being used as fast as we can make them. How are we doing the mining designations? I think we still have plenty. Yeah, all that's set to mine. We can go a little wider. Let me just expand this whole area. Basically for the regolith, mostly. 
we really need this produced. This guy going so we can actually produce, um, this guy complaining about power status offline. Choose a production scheme. I want silicium. That's supposed to be silicon. That is what I want. It looks like this thing is spinning to life. A refiner. Gonna take the regolith coming out of the extractor. Turn it into slag plus silicon oxide. The slag we're gonna be able to make use to use of once this research is done. Still waiting on the smart concrete factory. Almost done. Research comes in, I guess, from the rover on the surface. I'm not sure how it generates it, if it just operates on a clock or if we have to go places. Here's our little guy. Let's go a little further out. Click you, move there, and then we'll do another scan, resource scan. Get another big circle here. Maybe the, oh, check it out. We're getting points of interest now. Why don't we send him straight to that and see what this is all about? Uh, investigate. Cool. That's new. That's new. We have one right within and fairly close by too. We'll send them out here and then maybe make a loop around. Maybe we'll get something good out of that. We'll keep it at single speed for the moment. Let's go down. Research 86%. How about this guy? 12 out of 85 bricks. I guess I can go double speed. Let's see what's going on down here. This is our brick maker. It looks like it's been loaded up with a lot of regolith. So it's producing full steam as best it can. We get three bricks a minute. Let's go triple speed. This extractor is pulling out iron rich deposit for us in the form of regolith. And then this guy is refining it into slag and actual iron oxide and then we need to belt but i just don't in fact i don't know where all this slag is going oh look at this 607 over 2400 okay i guess once we get to 2400 this internal storage is going to fill up and we're going to be in trouble and right now i bet our drones or our little robots here are taking the iron oxide and just manually bringing it over here to these Smelting furnace. Okay, back up to the surface. Let's see how we're doing here on satisfying this guy. 23 out of 85. Not a lot we can do until things get built at the fastest speed. Okay, we're at 98% production, 99% production. Um, research, I'm sorry, on the smart cement factory here research complete okay that's done let's before we even use it let's queue up another research since that seems to take a fair amount of time underground conveyors components factory so that's done right that one says work in progress i don't know if we can even use it we have a refinery upgrade Repro I like the idea of this components factory, actually. Okay, rover investigated the signal. Your rover has detected a destroyed industrial complex. Click the signal status on the moon's surface to learn more. Okay, let's get the components factory going on research. Back out, slow things down. Let's go up here real quick, check on here. Okay, 34, we got a ways left to go on that. Okay, now I'm supposed to click on something here. This guy, maybe? Okay, ruined industrial complex for the processing of rare earth elements. Production is stalled. The robotics are down, but there's some finished product left here. Get a cargo transport to retrieve it. <laughs> I think that's the thing I just passed up on the tech tree. Uh, let's do start expedition and see what happens. I don't think our rover is going to go after it. Okay, expedition name. What do we do here? Expedition selected. We're supposed to select a vehicle. Hmm. And then it says a big work in progress here. We may not be able to do this. Resources. 
fill out. Okay, you have zero. Cargo loaded, vehicle selected. Colonist resources. Okay, scout rover. Can I choose that guy? Vehicle selected. Select expedition. Cargo loaded. Scout rover. Okay, I'm guessing the scout rover is not eligible for this particular expedition. Let's go send the scout rover to this signal and click investigate. So here's the different expeditions we can send vehicles out. We've got the scout rover selected. And this particular expedition is suitable for the scout rover so we can send them out. That's how I interpret that. And we should see our little buddy moving. Yep, very slowly. It's a long distance. And then I think once we get that cargo vehicle, maybe we can go fetch these resources from that point of interest. Cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, on the surface, nothing really going on here. We have drones that are recharging and they're trying to load this guy up. It's about halfway loaded. Down a level. We have the ability to build that smart concrete. Let's do it. Building, I think. Smart concrete factory. Now here's the challenge. We have, we're gonna have byproduct coming out of this. We have byproduct coming out of this, both the refiners, right? They kick out slag and then the core mineral that you're after. This guy's going to have some slag for us. And this one, they are about as far apart as they could be because they're located near the resource deposits. I guess we could do two concrete factories or we could run a big long belt. Now, I don't know if drones can go underneath the belts. I guess this is stuff we can learn as we go. Let's do. A smart concrete factory. Oh, check it out. It does it need more than just slag? It does it need regolith too? Let's pop it down. Yeah, let's pop it down there. We have a bunch of stuff marked off for mining. Our little drones are doing their thing mining. We'll wait till this gets constructed and we'll see what it's all about. Still waiting over here on this. I think it's being starved out on bricks just because of the contract we have going on. So let's go back to triple speed. See if we can move things along a bit. Research is completed. We still, we have a new one selected, the components factory. We could queue up more. Let's do this hauling drone. And maybe this will allow us to get resources from that, um, that point of interest. And then maybe these upgrades, increase extractor regolith yield by 30%. We have this regolith refinery upgrade. That is research. Let's see if we can trigger that upgrade or if it took place automatically, if it took effect. Let's look at our refiner and see. Um, increase priority, logistics configuration. Oh, storage manager. That looks like iron. That looks like, what is this slag maybe? Yeah, that's the slag and that's the regolith. So that's interesting. You can... What, determine whether they're going to store sl slag? Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure I totally understand here. Resource outputs. This and this. Oh. So I think we have this set up so that it's going to hold on to... No, that doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, regolith comes in. Slag and iron come out. If we turned this off, then it would hold on to the slag and not dump it on the belts, I'm guessing. So, hmm. Okay, rover investigated the signal. Another destroyed industrial complex. Check the signal status on the moon's surface to learn more. We'll do it right now. Let's get rid of this mess. Boom. And we're over here this time. Destroyed high-tech production that was moved to the moon to be closer to the source of raw materials and away from the Earth's atmosphere. If you bring cargo transports and drones here, you can get something of value out of it. Microcircuits, requirements, robots too. We can... I don't think we have robots too, but we can start that expedition. Available vehicles. We only have one up there, so I don't think we can even do this. Not yet. So I'm going to select the scout rover and pick another um, unknown signal. How about that one? Boom. Yeah, we need different vehicles before we can go harvest these resources that our rover is discovering, is how I understand what's going on right now. So the rover will make his way down to the next little question mark, then we'll hit this one and maybe go all the way around. Let's get out of this view. Boom. Okay, there's our smart cement factory. Let's uh let's run another power pole. Okay, I'm looking to get out of this here. Boom. 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 That's our resource scanner. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, you know what? I think we can actually power this off. Boom. And save a tiny bit of electricity until we use it again. Anxious to get this built. We're just waiting on bricks. This guy is not producing. Doesn't seem like it's producing. What do you need? Status offline. Do you not have enough electricity? Electricity zero. Um, oh, you have one power pole that's waiting to be built. No, yeah, that guy needs power. Can we raise the priority on this one? Yeah, right now we're just a little starved out on bricks. This one could help us, but we need bricks for this power pole. Let's see if we can select a recipe. This will take slag plus silicon oxide. Hmm. Let's see if we can belt out something from here. Grab a conveyor. Boom. Yeah, it looks like there's two outputs. Let's see what happens if we set a belt to go into here. Boom. Whoops. Boom. And then uh, build all. Will it just send the slag, hopefully? I have no idea if that's the slag. Could be. Still need power. We need bricks. Bricks are the shortage. We're dependent right now on this building right here. It is doing what it can. does pump out regolith but you wouldn't want to waste it by feeding it straight into this building the pressing module so we have a bunch of regolith on the ground here waiting to be picked up and sent into the pressing module so our drones will get to it okay we have power over at the silicon refiner so we're starting to get that nice that's gonna spit out silicon oxide hmm we want to smelt some of that, and we want some of it to go into making bricks. Okay, it looks like our drones brought some over already. A little bit. Uh, we need a little more before it'll kick on, though. 
Okay, they're bringing tons of slag. The slag's all belted in here. Eventually, we're going to want to get the slag out of this thing. <laughs> or maybe we'll just set up another factory. We'll probably have to set up another one. Should we scan? Let's see how we're doing on the surface. Got to be getting close. 81. Okay, four more bricks. Then we can use bricks for our own construction needs. Smart concrete, I think it's called. Yeah, three more. Uh, double speed. And then for this steel and concrete, we still need to do... Oh, this says concrete. Hmm. I thought when the tutorial message came up, they were asking for silicon. I could be wrong. All right, we are about to launch one more piece of smart concrete. And we can launch and complete that one contract. I don't know what we're going to get. There it is. Oh, man, finally. I'll put it on single speed while we watch this guy launch. There it goes. Mission complete. Okay, mission complete. Happy about that. What do we get for that? 20,000 credits? Okay, they're going to give us another one. Silicon test shipment. Right? Yeah. Zero days. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe there's just no deadline to complete it. We need 150 silicon ingots here. We don't have any, I don't believe. We may have a handful. So we'll do send resources, pick our landing module, boom. And then I think I just shift click. There's 100, there's 150. I just did a shift click twice. Hit send. I'm out of here and then the module comes down where we can start filling that guy up. That's going to take forever. Let's go down. Because we're not even producing it yet. Um, this building is waiting on bricks. We're finally getting some concrete bricks delivered over here. That will allow me to process at least some of the silicon oxide that's coming out of here. Some of that silicon oxide is being sent over to our smart factory here. Is this on? Status offline. Needs power because of one power pole. That'll get built pretty quick, I think, actually. Now that we have bricks for construction. Coming out of this guy, our pressing module. It's just slow production. But at least now we're not sending them off. And we have all this regolith to get processed. This will all get... Uh, I guess this could go into other machines, couldn't it? This regolith. It doesn't have to go into this um, pressing machine. That guy takes slag. Yeah, I guess in theory, regolith could be sent in here. Although I don't know if the regolith that they're mining from the walls has any ore in it to speak of. Maybe that is best just going to the pressing factory here. All right, we have production, finally. This one gets us seven and a half bricks per minute. Our drones are bringing over the silicon oxide. That's not optimal. We'd love to belt that. And then now we're finally getting construction materials delivered over here to this smelter. That'll be nice. And then, hmm. Oh. Did we do the extractor upgrade in the tech tree? Not yet. Yeah, that's queued up. We'll see. All right, we're making smart concrete all over the place. Some in this smart concrete factory and some in the pressing module. Let's pause this episode here or end this episode here. We'll pick it up next episode. We ran into some hiccups with the kind of the tutorial contract. I couldn't get the original contract done. But it looks like we're back up and running. We are processing iron from regolith, refining it into, what does this get us? The slag and iron oxide. We're sending the slag into basically a brick maker and the iron oxide. We should be belting in here. We'll set that up next episode and see if we can't automate that.
I still haven't noticed if drones can go under the belts. And I haven't tried building up or down. I don't know if there's a height to the belt. Oh, it just went under. So we're pretty good to run belts wherever we want. That's going to be important for routing this um, the silicon oxide. We're producing it over here. We might want to split it between refining it into silicon ingots, which we need for the current contract. And some of that silicon could go all the way over here to our smart brick factory. Anyway, very cool. Yeah, we overcame some hurdles. We are moving. We are grooving. That's it for now. I will see you all in the next episode.